Hey everybody, it's Audrey. Thanks for stopping by my channel today. I am using a cut file from the Cut Shop store, and this file is called Loose Leaf, and it is free, so you can go to the Cut Shop store. I'll put a link in the description below and get this file for yourself. Um, so I have cut this file. I, I haven't altered it in any way. I sized it to fit the whole uh, piece of white cardstock. And I just cut it out of the white cardstock, and I am going to use some inks to color up these leaves. And I'm going pretty fast here because this took me a while to do. But I'm just using three shades of kind of a brownish ink, and I wanted the, the veins of the leaves to stand off uh, <clears throat> from the colors in the background because I plan to back these leaves with some pattern papers uh, that are some fall-like colors. So I just have a couple different shades of brown and... I'm going over with my sponge applicator, and I love how natural this looks. It really looks uh, like the natural color of brown of these leaves. Trying to not leave any white space. Okay, so here are my two photos, and I wanted my photos to kind of hang from the leaves, kind of like a like a clothesline almost, because that's how the leaves look hanging there. And I went through my stash and picked out some papers. A lot of these papers are from, uh, I think, a Pebbles collection. It was like a, uh, a fall baking collection, maybe like a harvest. I can't remember the name of it, but it's it's probably four or five years old. And I considered spending the time to back every single um, open space here with a different pattern, but that was going to take me forever. So what I decided to do instead is I took um, one color and I just backed one small section of every leaf with one color, and then I'm going to back the entire rest of the leaf with a different color. Because so, I wanted it, you know, to have a few different colors in there, and I, I wanted to have um, a little bit of interest with the, you know, using the open spaces, but I didn't want to take the time to back every single uh, individual space. <clears throat> so how I do this is I just do cut small strips, and I back one section at a time, uh, of each leaf, and then I'll go through and um, just put a piece, a bigger piece over the background, and then trim around the edges. I know you can trace it first. I like to glue mine down first and then just trim around with my scissors while it's still wet. So I really love how that looks. And I have, think I have finished that at this point, and I'm going to go through and jazz up my background. I decided to use kind of a minty blue color. I'm pretty sure that it, that color is called mint. It's a shimmers. And then I'm going to go in with some teal. Uh, I have to be honest, this is the second background I've actually, I actually made for this page. I started another one, and I used more of a navy color, and the navy was just way too dark. So I'm going to go with this teal blue. And I did that because it, this color, because it's a good contrast to the uh, reds and yellows and greens that I had um, on the leaves that I backed. So I'm just kind of smooshing this around. I'm going to add some splatters. And do I go back with gold? I think I went back in with some gold as well. Yes, I, I do go back in with some gold. It's funny because when you see the um, cut file again, the, the way I colored it with those inks, it almost looks like it's a gold shimmer. So if you look at the edges of the leaves, it kind of looks like I backed it with, or, or the leaves that I cut it out of gold paper. So I like, I love the way that that looks. So you can see that from all those leaves, it did take me a while to um, back all those. So I'm so glad I decided not to do every single individual space. And I, um, the, the, the leaves that I backed in red, I kind of tried to strategically place because my photos had a lot of the red leaves in them. So, um, you know, I scattered the red out through the leaves kind of um, proportionally to kind of balance out the red in my photo. And then I pulled out a whole bunch of my fall. I have a huge bag of fall scrappy supplies with stickers and um, die cuts and brads and all kinds of things from a whole bunch of mix of collections. Uh, here's some October afternoon things. This is one of my, I love these little label stickers. Uh, I wish I had 
bought more of these before October afternoon uh, stopped making all their supplies. I miss them. I loved their stuff. And I don't want to, I don't want to embellish too much because there's already a lot on here and it's busy with all the colors and my photos have a lot of detail. So I'm kind of looking for something to put for a title um, to hang at the bottom here from another leaf. And so it takes me a while to go through all my things. This is where I kind of get stuck in, in doing a page like this where I have a, a cut file in the background that, um, you know, just takes up so much of the design. And now I'm trying to embellish, but I don't want to embellish too much because, you know, I don't want to take away from that design. So I found this sticker from a Simple Stories pack, and I'm going to back it with brown. You saw me earlier map my photos with brown pattern paper, and I just thought that that made them stand out a little bit more with kind of the darker uh, matte. And I'm just going to, I think, use that as my title, Fabulous Fall. And I found a little blue heart that kind of matched my background. I'll put that on a leaf. I want to pop it off the background, so that's why I backed it. I put some paper in the background so it wasn't sticky, so that I can put a uh, 3D dot on there. These are also from Simple Stories. We'll add those to my photos. So every fall we take a trip to the Adirondacks of New York, and we rent a cabin. Um, usually Columbus Day weekend, which happens to be the peak weekend for foliage. Uh, and it's absolutely beautiful up there. So we love finding different color leaves on our walks and our hikes. We do a lot of hiking. It's very fun. I look forward to it every year. So I think I'm just going to add a couple little, uh, a couple of these phrase stickers, which are super fun with some fall phrases. And I don't really do too much more. I don't think with, oh yeah, some more stickers. A few more stickers in there. And I'm just gonna put these right on. I'm not going to pop them off. I thought about popping them off. I thought about also adding a few more like tiny leaf stickers in the background. Um, but again, I'm just gonna leave it pretty simple. Nope, that's too much. I tried some of those wood veneer leaves, but I've already got some pretty leaves. I don't need any more. So now the task comes that for me to um, kind of back this whole thing. Notice I haven't glued anything down yet. I, have, I don't think I've even glued my photos down. Um, <clears throat> I want to, I, I was thinking about popping the whole background off, um, the leaves and everything, but I'm gonna glue the leaves right to the background and um, just pop some of the other elements off. So I'll just go through here with some glue. It's funny that the, the back sides of those papers are so, I use obviously the B sides of all the papers because I just wanted the solid colors, but you can see here the, the A sides of those papers have some really, really pretty fall prints as well. And I love this glue because it dries so fast. So you don't have to worry about it moving around or shifting. So I am going to pop off the photos from the background. So I'll use some craft foam here. And I put these on with a tape runner because I find that the liquid glue uh, causes them to, to move around because it doesn't dry really fast on this craft foam. So the tape runner works a lot better in the craft foam, I think. And that is about it. So I did some journaling there in the yellow leaf to the left of my daughter's photo. And I did add, if you look at each photo and then the title, I found a little wooden clothespin that I used to hold each photo to the leaf garland. There's the clothespins. So thank you so much. Again, make sure you go check out the link below to get this cut file for free. And stay scrappy, friends. I will have some more fall pages coming your way. Thanks for watching.